That man right there, number 68, Kevin Moai, is getting inducted to the Ring of Honor. I was at a Jets facility on Friday, got a chance to sit down with my friend. We did a little reminiscing about some old times when we were playing together, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy what you're about to see. I'm here with my man, Kevin Moai. Kevin, so good to see you. Um, how about this weekend, man? Were you, you know, are you surprised? Has it hit you yet? It, it has. So when they announced it several weeks ago, that was a big surprise. And then you think, okay, it's going to be cool. And now I'm sitting here, we just unveiled the banner, and I got choked up. And they brought all the, the Jets administration in here, not the players, but everybody from the building. And, you know, and then they just had a moment to say thank you to those people. Yeah. And then, uh, but yeah, it's it, tomorrow will be even better. I see a bunch of old teammates and right. friends, and guys that we played with together, and um, I'll probably cry then. Yeah, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say because I remember at the luncheon that we had, I got choked up, and you got a little bit choked I'm a, up. Dude, I'm a cry and that's, baby. I'm no, a, that was not you. I mean, I know you from back in the day. Cry baby was no, definitely I'm, not I, one well, of those I, I'm, I'm an emotional guy. You're an emotional I'm, guy. I'll be a cry. I'll cry on Sunday. <laughs> so you know. You, I played with you as, at a very young age, and you were instrumental in my career going forward because you were so cerebral. You know, did you ever think that playing football would bring you such an honor like this? Um, you know, I, I, no, because I, I never thought about it. I never thought about the Ring of Honors and Hall of Fames and stuff like that. I just wanted to play football. I loved the game from the time I was eight years old. Um, my goal in life was to play in the NFL. I achieved it, and then my goal was to play 10 years. I exceeded that. Um, I never had a goal to go to the Pro Bowl, never had a goal to go to the Hall of Fame, never had a goal to be in a Ring of Honor. I just wanted to be the best player that I could possibly be, and all the while, I loved the game. And um, that's still where I'm at today, but now, you know, the Ring of Honor with the Jets, I mean, it's special. You sit in the stadium, you think about guys you watch play, and think, man, that's pretty cool to have your name on the stadium. Yeah. That would be cool. Forever. 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 I just always thought that would be cool, but never really said, how do I get there? Right. I just played, and now here I am this weekend, and my name's going to be in MetLife Stadium forever. forever. We've talked about Curtis and, and Vinny and, and Chad Pennington, who was a rookie when I was here. You know, how are you going to, how is it going to be for you, you know, tonight a little bit, tomorrow definitely, when all these guys are coming back just for you? You know, I mean. Yeah. Is it, does it, has it hit that you that yet? Up yeah, it's <laughs> a little choked up. Because, yeah, it's like we have went through a lot together, eight yeah. years yeah. with some of these guys. Vinny was like a three-year stretch, came back at the end. Of, and um, But they all mean a lot to me because those are the guys that we were together when we had our greatest successes right. here was the New York Jets. And Vinny has always been my favorite quarterback. Next to you. See that? I mean, is that is that nuts? I, I, I so called it out. Throw that out. At least he gave me the Next, pat on the knee, so we're gonna give him a pass on but, that one. But so Vinny, uh, you know, I just appreciated him being a leader on our team. Yeah. Chad coming in and how smart he was and cerebral, and he was a team guy. And and Curtis was like just the workhorse. I mean, guy that seen him go through injuries and pain and never miss a game. And yeah. but my success as a player in the New York Jets organization is solely because of the success of those guys and their willingness to put themselves out there to be successful, it made my job easier. And so when I see Vinny and, and Wayne and those guys, it, it brings, a, it, it brings, a, yeah, it brings yeah. a smile to my face, it makes my heart feel warm because our kids grew up. We had kids all around the same time yeah. and how's your kid, how's little Vinny, how's yeah. Alicia doing, you know, how's Chad's kids? And, and they asked me about Kirkland and Abigail. And, and so it goes beyond just the playing field and, and that's what makes it more special than anything. Let's talk about Parcells for a second. You know, he valued your opinion, which to me is very important to share with the, with the folks at home. Yeah, so everybody thinks that Bill is this hard, gruff, I do everything my way kind of guy, which he is to an extent. But the thing, the unique thing about Bill was that he knew how to push everybody's buttons. The yes. way he pushed you was different than the way he pushed exactly me. Exactly right. The way, because I, I knew for him, for you, he would like call you out yeah. and he'd be like, you know, they'd say you're not good enough. Yep. You're lucky you're on, you know, I got, yep. there's 20 more like you at the bus stop. He used That's to right. say that all the time. Yep. For me, it was nothing like that. It's like, hey, Kevin, if you don't block this guy this week, we're not going to win the game. Right. And he would just leave it like that. And it was a blank statement. It's still and, a challenge. And it's a challenge, but it is different. Right. Because I told him, and people don't realize, I told him when I was a free agent, I said, Coach, I said, I never played for you, and I never lived in New York. And he said, why would you never play with me? He said, because all I know is that you yell, cream, scream, cuss. I don't operate that way. Because if you're going to be the player that I think you are, 
you'll never have to hear me yell at you. And not one time that he ever raised his voice to me. Right. So then when you earn the skins, like he used to call hanging skins on the wall, if you were a guy that hanged pelts for him, then he all he valued your opinion. What do you think about this, Kevin? Do you think we, you know, what's the team need? Right. And that didn't happen all the time, but he just wanted. To, and I think more than anything, he was trying to, trying to confirm and through leaders on the team Correct. what he already felt about the team. Right. And um, more often than not, he was already right, anyways. It's an honor to sit here with you today, but it was even more of an honor for me just playing with you, even for oh, that man. short time. And I, you know, I, I see my boy Corbett up there on the wall. Yeah. Uh, fellow Jersey boy, um, a very good friend of mine. And for you to get the Ring of Honor, for me, you know, I almost got choked up when you got it because I think you deserve this and then some. I think your name should be in that Hall of Fame and it should be in there soon because if you revolutionize the sport, Kevin, you should get recognized for what you did. So I just want to say congratulations to you. I'm glad your family is here and I got to see the wifey and give her a kiss. But uh, it's well deserved, my friend. I appreciate well it, man. Deserved, Thank friend. you, and you're part of it. You, I appreciate Wayne, that. Kurt, Benny, all these guys played a big role. Not small, but put a big role in who I became as a player. Because you guys allowed me to play my game, yeah. but you allowed me to be a leader in the locker room too. And so, without your backup and your support, you know, it, this job is hard enough as it is. Yeah. And it's hard enough as it is physically and emotionally and mentally as let alone trying to be the guy you know you can be unless your teammates allow you to be yeah. that guy. And then you were one of them, and so I appreciate it, man. Always Congratulations, pleasure, my brother. I love you. Love All you, right. man. Yeah. Kevin Mawai, Ring of Honor.